Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, November 5th to November 11th, 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a uh, general reading for Cancer Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will do here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And one more thing, uh, if you want to indulge into the predictions or rather, yeah, the predictions for the month of November for um, <clears throat> your star sign, in this case Cancer, the monthly readings are already out on this same YouTube channel, so feel free to browse them down and to check uh, what, is the, um, what is the tendency for uh, your star sign. And... Uh, we're going for the four card tarot spread as per usual. Now the first card is about the topic of your Cancer's week and this is to be the star card. So Cancer are winners. Because the star card, the first and foremost important property is that this is the mark of the end of the tantrum, turmoil, despondency, bad fortune and you name it. So it's kind of like uh, things from now on are to start taking a turn for the better. Now the star card promises you a, a big thing to look forward to so the, it could manifest as a uh, as a important project that comes out of the blue and uh, basically consolidates your job place or it could be the unfolding love that you have so much waited for so long or it could be as well the support of the people um, that you have counted on to support you on a, a very tough journey that you are in right now what i'm trying to say here is, is that the star card is this uh, it, it manifests as a uh, huge burst of hope that it is to embark your life or to be exerted in your life and is going to be a, a real thing that you can cop that you can hope for or that you can rely on uh, <clears throat> it is uh, whatever the case is this card promises you a, a huge amount of support from people from resources and from situations as well so it's kind of like um, all of your life could turn for the better this could be as well the appreciation you want uh, you have waited the positive result of for example a lawsuit let's say a divorce or is general dispute out there that you are leading with a company or something like this I mean this is a, a very very positive card that promises you a um, a fresh start it's not the new beginning all right but it's more like a, a fresh start something which is going to offer uh, which is going to promise you and offer you uh, a, a fresh start and all of a sudden basically your life will start worth living again if until this very moment you did not find much of a uh, much of a meaning especially um, if you have just recently broke up or it's uh, a person that you very much loved and uh, you are doubting should you find them even ever love again wow well, guess guess what you are the winner here you are the lucky one so the next card that we do have is the um, the core of the situation why we do have the star card and that is the ace of wands so the ace of wands it's uh, it manifests itself as a uh, new enterprise new beginning creative chaos resolution a, a big resolution of an issues and of a um, of disputes and problems as well so how i see those cards is that a, a recent le resolution or a recent yeah kind of like reaching a, a common ground for example or the new task that is given to your job or this could be the um the passion that's ignited in between you and someone else 
all right that gives you uh, something to hope for and you see that this thing is real that is going to manifest is going to materialize itself so what we do have here is something that i've started recently which is to to involve and is going to make your uh, your troubles completely irrelevant is going to make your life taking a turn for a better for a better thing here and as i said it could manifest again repeating in many different gazes for some is going to be low for others is going to be a, a huge jump into their career um, monetary increase as well is not excluded in general but it's just in general this these cards are pointing that whatever you have recently started was the right thing to be started and it is a, a thing to be nurtured as well further um, <clears throat> into the future not to mention that these couple of cards are also pointing that i am many doors are to open to you should you continue on with uh with that direction of course because we do have the ace of wands here it means that you may find yourself a little bit unexperienced especially if we're talking about career um <clears throat> a hesitant as well you know because it, it kind of like contains a, a huge amount of passion whatever the undertaking is and that could make you a few uh, feeling a little bit insecure and a little bit uh, doubtful as well that it is way too good to be true but you gotta believe that it is just as good as it looks like then the next card uh, what we do have is the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments and that is to be the queen of cups so the queen of cups here resides into the um, ability to uh, not to control your emotions uh, it is very difficult to explain. This isn't the control of emotions. It is more like um, the capability one to just the, to to let just their emotion, their emotions flow. It's to to kind of like to not to share them but to show them into the world. So what these cards are pointing here is, is that you do have a person that you love. Well, that that week you have to express your love in any way you can. You can tell them that you love them, you know, you can do something for them, etc, etc. It's basically you have to let your emotions flow. You should not keep them uh, within yourself. And that is going to be a, a challenging for you to let your emotions flow. Additionally, this car regarding a on a more practical level points to be a uh, <clears throat> patient if for the lack of better term like uh, don't try to uh, make three stri three strides for the uh, for the amount of one be more systematic uh, be more consistent as well just just be more calm all right don't be frantic for all that it is offered to you because it's kind of exciting you know i mean you have endured so much until this very moment and finally you you find out that whatever you have initiated recently it's finally is going to work out and it is very easy one to become very frantic about it, you know, imagining great things and not that these great things can't happen, but you just have to be more methodical about it, all right? I mean, you, in that specific sense, you have to tame your emotions. For example, if this is about love interest here, then don't drown the person of interest in all that you are imagining that you both are going to be. Kind of like share countless ideas, where you're going to go, how you're going to spend your time, etc, etc. Instead, instead sharing that with them on a verbal level, uh, do it. Simply do it. You know, and you are to find that it take a little bit more time to perform it than to think of it. But in general, for you, Cancer, this is to be a, a great week where you are going to have a, a fresh start in, if you want to, your entire life. Uh, and the last card here is the Guidance that you should follow and we have a, a very sound card which asks you to dream big you know there because this card in that specific follow-up and cases it it appears itself as a uh, um, a mother's dream dreams for her children i mean those dreams are they fantasies or a 
seeds growing it yet, it yet remains to be known so what we do have here as a confirmation is that anything is possible I mean from now on as you do have that clearance in front of yourself you can um, you can literally manifest you, yourself in the way that you do want and that you hope for but it is important to start from the very beginning from the very foundations of it and that's why you have to as well be grounded and also that kind of amplif amplifies my statement here with the Queen of Cups that you should not aim to take three straights for the uh, three steps for the straight of one. And very important thing as well is that in order for you to initiate on this restart or fresh start in your life in whatever field that is, relationship, career or, or simply, you know, friendship circle, you have to be open for it. And to be open for it means that you need to have a, a very clear and sincere intentions here. You shouldn't have any secrets. You shouldn't have any... Uh, burdens that you are carrying from the past so it's important to if you need to make a closure with a certain situation let's say an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend or a, a project that you are running or you had running in the past do that closure because it's going to be much more easier to liberate yourself from the torment and from the tantrum turmoil that you recently had as there is no room for it any longer in your uh, daily routine and in your life in general for the near future. So that being said, this was your tarot reading cancers and uh, we are going to the Lenormand cards. Now the Lenormand cards are going to show us a event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. One second. So I can, uh, so I can shuffle them. So let's see what we have here. Now the first card, this is going to be uh, the letter and the letter stands for letter obviously, <laughs> a written text or chat. Uh, the next card that we do have, this is the snake. Now the snake stands for deception, betrayal, lies, uh, um, or what was the word I was about to say, um, a vengeance as well, kind of like a revenge and etc, etc. Uh, and the last card that we do have, this is going to be the garden. The gander stands for socializing, social gathering, meetings, conference and so on and so on. So uh, this is kind of a warning from the Lenormand cards, you may be given the wrong information here, a deceitful information from a conference that you are going to be, a, a social gathering that you are going to be, or simply a friend of yours could text uh, could text you something through the chat that is a uh, have a uh, um, uh, what was the word here? Um, uh, Felicious, uh, felicious statements, inaccurate statements that you can, um, uh, let's say, uh, make a, a wrong impressions upon a, a certain situation, and um, or, or you know, a, or, or to have a, a wrong opinion uh, for a certain person. The worst thing here is, is this is a completely de deliberate um, attempt to sway you from your path, which is kind of understandable because your path here is dappled only with happiness and new beginnings, at least for that specific week, guys. And, uh, you know, people find it to, uh, people are very, very jealous and they, um, unfortunately, there are such people which feeds on someone else's um, someone else's happiness. So don't allow, you know, fallacies and um, celluloid statements, uh, wrong and fraudulent statements, excuse me, to, uh, to sway you off your path that you have consciously taken here because you have worked for it to improve your circumstances as they are to improve big time throughout the week, November 5th to November 11th, 2018. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. Um, for November 15th, November 11th, 
to November 11th and uh, again this was just a general reading for Cancer star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore I did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you or that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.